Hello everyone, welcome to SynthFox channel. This is Aubrey Liss and today I will be presenting you my new module called 2CK. 2CK is an intertwined dual clock source. It features two identical low-frequency square wave generators that are useful for many purposes. Frequency of clock A is determined by the sum of the initial voltage set by the big yellow knob and the control voltage from the dedicated input. Its amount can be set with the attenuverter. Likewise, clock B has the big blue knob for the initial frequency, a control voltage input, and its attenuverter. The outputs for clock A and clock B are located below their respective CV inputs. The two clock sources are intertwined. The clock B output is normal to clock A CV input, and the clock A output is normal to clock B CV input. This makes the module generate patterning, often unpredictable chains of clocking pulses without any external gear involved. The kind of pattern is defined by the clock frequencies and by how much and which direction in they affect each other. Here I'm using the clock A output to trigger the Menke CARP module. The CARP's pitch is being modulated by the smooth side of the SSG. To showcase the range of the clock generator, I will use a dummy cable and insert it into the CV input of clock A. This will break the internal normalization of clock B output to clock A CV input. The range of clock A varies from about 20 times per second at its maximum setting to about half a minute on the minimal setting. However, the two clock generators are intended to be used in tandem for instant creation of interesting patterns. Here I patched up another drum, a kick drum, with the SSG smooth side acting as a triangle oscillator, the sledgehammer as the dynamics processor, and the VCS as a sharp decay only envelope. I'm going to use clock A to trigger the Menke carp. Clock B to trigger the kick drum. Now, adjusting the frequencies of the clock and how much they interfere with each other will result in different patterns. Sometimes cyclic, sometimes not that obvious, and they are changed easily by just a slight twist of a knob. The 2CK has one more additional, yet very important feature. On the back of the module, there is a pin jumper that selects the range of the clock A. And there is a possibility to set it to oscillator mode instead of the clock mode. This will move the range of the clock A into audible frequencies, making it musically useful as an oscillator. Although it's not the most precise oscillator in the world, it does have exponential tracking, and if its attenuverter is tuned carefully, it is possible to achieve almost perfect 1 volt per octave response. It being modulated by clock B makes it an instant dub siren. Here is a slightly more complicated patch using clock A in oscillator mode as a main sound source, and clock B as the clocking source. Clock B is malted to both the sledgehammer ping input and the SSG stepped side sample input. The SSG has some noise at the input and its output is malted to both clock A and clock B CV inputs. Clock A is then passed through the sledgehammer and to the system sound output. This relatively simple but interesting to explore Krell like patch shows how multifunctional 2CK is, especially considering its Noro size of 4 HP. This wraps up the basic demonstration of the intertwined dual clock source 2CK. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and liked my new module. As always, thank you for being here today, don't forget to subscribe for more updates on SynthFox gear and check the video description for useful links. I've been Aubrey Liss of SynthFox, catch you later.